So, um, quick apologies. There was no desktop audio for this video. My headphones did not ultimately take them being on, apparently, for desktop audio. It didn't want to work out properly. So, yeah. No matter what, I'll have the game in the description if you ultimately wish to play it yourself. Otherwise, yeah, apologies. It did not pair up correctly. Apparently, if I actively pair up my my camera here before I ultimately turn on my computer, apparently it causes it to have problems. I can't plug it up beforehand without causing issues. So I did not realize this as it disabled all desktop audio was to my mic audio. So, yeah, so I did not know this was a problem, but hopefully you enjoyed the video anyways, and thank you for watching. Um, start off with, welcome to a little horror game which I found. I'm watching a bit of Spongebob recently and I've decided to play Natural Revenge that I found it on Itch.io. So if you hear a humming noise coming from my mic, it is a little bit of a hotter day and my laptop does not have the best fan in the world to help keep it cool. It gets kind of warm whenever I record sometimes anyway, so I don't want to lose my laptop just in case. So, I left my fan on. Well, let's get started. Did not expect the voice acting. <laughs> Oh, man, I don't remember the controls of this. Hopefully it pops up. Okay, so... Mouse? Okay, I can't drive personally. Don't see anyone, but there's Patrick's house, so it's called Patrick's Revenge for a reason, so let's see if that's going to be something very interesting. I've seen a lot of these little horror games actually being played before, and they're always fairly, they're good for being bad, to be honest. They're bad in a way like a B-rated movie is, honestly, and how that makes it also good at the same time. Though, I'm not that far from the Krusty Krab, so why would you have to drive and just run all the way across? Big questions, no answers. Okay, I need to find his house keys. Did he leave them in the car by chance? Or can I actually go over here? No. Okay, so let's go check his car for his boat. Okay, can't jump. Can't crouch. No interactions. Okay, okay. Well, let's start the simple aspect of just looking around his house and checking there. Anything in the coral? No. And nothing. Okay, so I can't just get access to his house. Maybe SpongeBob's house has something. Nothing. Okay. Is there anything around? No. Well, there is a bus here. So maybe. That's a question and a half. So East Interact, got it.
Okay, so I can move now. Not gonna be able to escape, obviously. So it's like SpongeBob's house, or this is not Patrick's home. That's for sure. Okay, no numbers. In every version I've ever seen of any SpongeBob horror game, Patrick always moves very slowly. So hopefully that's something that we can use. Can't do anything there. Okay, so it's SpongeBob's home. Got it. No longer can seem to run. Nothing there. Can we get up here by chance? Mm, no. So, upstairs. thinking about anything to do with the bookshelf because of some of the oldest secret doors that I know of. That's straightforward. <coughs> That's the question. Well, there are here to start off with. Five, six, eight, twelve. I think I know where we'd be able to do that. Five, six, eight, twelve. Nothing over here. It'd help if I could act to run again. That'd be useful. I'm assuming, though, that we're going to encounter Patrick soon. Let me see. It was. Five, six, okay. Five, eight, six, twelve. Enter. No. Five, eight, six, twelve. No. Okay. Five, six, eight, twelve. Yeah. Okay then. So that's for something else. It seems. So let's see. Upstairs. Anything. Nope. Nothing there. Okay. Well. That's kind of straightforward as well. Well, okay. Can we get access to anything over here? No. But yeah, that's kind of straightforward of him. Over here, then let's try the code again. Five, eight, six, twelve. Make sure. Yeah, no. Five, six, eight, twelve. It took it now. Really? TV. Okay, okay. Okay, I don't need the screwdriver yet. Right? No, I can take it. Okay. Okay, so I now have a screwdriver. It's not even plugged in. Okay, so I'm going to only be able to guess that I need to do something with the power breaker. Otherwise, can I try to break in with the screwdriver? No. Nothing to do with his sandwich. 
Okay then, so back down here. Okay, so we needed to move this. So now that has power. Not that we can go up there yet. Okay, here we go. Take me up. Well, there's Gary. But we need some form of key. That's gonna be there, so can't interact with you, so might as well. This is the uh, uh, above, okay? Soon we take the key, it's gonna happen. Yeah, move that. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, so this leads back down. Got it, got it. Can we close the door? No. So, we almost had, there we go. Okay, so. What? <laughs> this is different. Well, so that was the end. After the kidnapping of SpongeBob and Squidward, Patrick. Okay, I didn't read that. Hopefully, you can read it, frankly, if you want to. You can pause it. But, okay, so. Got it. So that was Patrick's Revenge. Short but a simple game. Okay, that seems to be the last of it. Well, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you wish to, and hopefully, if there's any more in the future that I come across, I'll play more games like this. I actually kind of enjoyed that, honestly. So, thank you all for watching. Hope to see you in another video.